The McElroy brothers are not experts, and their advice should never be followed. Travis insists he's a sexpert, but if there's a degree on his wall, I haven't seen it. Also, this show isn't for kids, which I mention only so the babies out there will know how cool they are for listening. What's up, you cool baby? One, two, three, four. It's the start of something beautiful. A small acquaintance has blossomed and ripened into a precious friendship. I could have never seen what was coming for me. Hangs at the skate park, hangs by the beach. My life, it feels like. Hello, everybody. Welcome to My Brother, My Brother, Me, an advice show for the modern era. I'm your oldest brother, Justin McElroy. I'm your middlest brother, feeling great over here, Travis McElroy. Just having a great day. Yeah, me too. Nanu, Nanu. It's Griffin McElroy, your sweet baby brother. <laughs> I'm, ha- I'm having a great day over here, guys. Uh, sun's out. It's a beautiful day. I made yeah, the man. perfect omelet this morning. Our aliens son. Our son. Our son. Aliens are real. It's a great day. It's, it's a, a normal day, day for us. And let me talk about this omelet, guys. I figured it out. I got the perfect, oh, the perfect cook on both sides. Aliens are real. There was tomatoes in there. Yeah, sure. I did some like steamed carrots in there, some cheese. Aliens are real. And then yeah, like, sure. what I did is I put a lid on so it would get kind of uh, not like, liquid on both sides. Aliens are real. And then like, yeah, I yeah, folded yeah. the omelet over and got the perfect flip. It was perfect. Aliens are Great. real. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, did you put moon onions on it? <laughs> I, uh, they, they all got ate by the aliens that Tom DeLong's been talking about all these years. God damn it, Tom. I'm sorry. We didn't listen, Tom. We laughed at your expense yeah. so much, Tom. But then yeah. I guess earlier this week, government comes out and it's like, aliens are real. And internet is like, okay, man, whatever. Yeah. Elon's doing some funny shit, though. So we're going to just sort of hold it on that. Do you know how bad a job the government has to be doing that when they're like, uh, aliens are real that the american people are like we don't actually care about that right now let's talk about everything else you're doing yeah um i uh i yeah i uh can't be too worried about it when the the government of america their big thing is like you guys gotta let us know about more of this alien stuff i don't (laughs) can i go ahead and say I don't think you should. <laughs> I don't think they should be in on those conversations at all, really. I don't really yeah. think they need more information about UFOs and stuff. It's just, They've had so long to talk about this. And they've had yes. the time when things are, things are getting pretty hyphy for us Earth, earthbound people. And they could, like... The 90s would have been great. We all 90s. had a lot of oh spare God, time on our plate. Thank you. That would have been ideal. And like we would have been all about Day it in the 90s. Huge. Um, Independence yeah. Day, Earth Girls are easy if they had just been like, and by the way, it's a documentary. Yeah. We would have been like, okay, I'm, I have the time to process this. Yeah. I'm interested in what this could possibly mean for like our place in the universe. Right now, though, it's like, yeah, man, cool. Um, But also- what are you yeah. doing about all this other stuff? Yeah. The guy who heard about the aliens and told everyone. The yeah, tat- the, the tattletale. That's the tattletale. The tattletale. the tattletale. the tattletale. So I'll call him for legal reasons. Okay? Yeah. Um, the tattletale. He used to work at America, right? But no right. longer does. And every- and he is the person who said, aliens. Yep. Check them out. <laughs> right? Him. Yeah. The... <laughs> There's lots of people that used to work at America. Mm-hmm. We realize this, right? A lot of people, different kinds of people from a wide array of experiences yes. after that. Lots of people used to work at America. I don't think one cat who seems very credible for sure. sure. Yeah. The but then tail. America is still saying no on the aliens. So yeah, so we need to we need his friend Reggie, <laughs> who also worked for America, to be like this dude's legit. <laughs> I need a Reggie. Dude. I need at least one Reggie in there to be like this dude knows what he's fucking talking about. Here's what I would say, Griffin. I don't want his friend Reggie. 
I want the guy who doesn't really like him so much yes. to be like, listen, I don't his get bully. along with him. Get I his can't, bully there. I can't <laughs> stand that dude whatsoever. But yeah, yeah. If he get- says there's aliens, then. I trust him. Or you need like, the Tattletales really, bully. Who's the yeah. Tattletales bully that made his life tough for him in middle school to say, like, listen, I don't know this kid anything, and his yeah. dad is poor. And but, give me his, give well, me his and look at his stupid haircut. Oh, well, look and at his, his shoes haircut. are stupid. They're BK Knights. Okay? It's ridiculous. <laughs> give me a sweaty, a sweaty government poindexter who's like, oh, this guy doesn't know what he's talking about. <sighs> Even that would be enough for me to be like, I think this guy knows what he's fucking talking about. Yeah. Yeah, give me a Jeff Goldblum type. Give me a Goldblum type who goes, well, uh, actually, um, we found that the aliens are real, and this guy's haircut is cool, actually. Yeah. We all agreed I- he got a cool haircut, and aliens are true. It's Do you- true. I, I- <laughs> Here's my problem with the alien thing. Okay, go, go off, King. Go right, off, King. I, I want to go off. Okay, there is there. If there's aliens, they're from very far away. Fair, sure, correct. yeah, at least a hundred miles. And the idea that they would reach the technology to travel like that, yeah. so close to our planet's ability to travel like that in the grand cosmic scope, the idea that they would be here just when we're ready to be like awesome. Because oh, so you think we're ready to zip, zip, zap on out of the, the we're Milky Way galaxy? We're closer than we would have been. What I'm saying is, if aliens were coming, they could have come at any time. Yeah, and I f- refuse to believe that they have ever been anywhere near Earth in any time in the last ten thousand years. Because if you look at history at all, people nutted over everything. That's right? true, man. They, they. There's a big hot ball in the sky, and uh, literally, like a bajillion people are like, "That's my dude." <laughs> and he's like, "What?" Yeah. He's like the big star. That's my dude up there. That's my <laughs> dude. I roll with him every day, and I love him. And literally, <laughs> millions of people are like, "Hey, yeah, the big ball." <laughs> are you telling me if a fucking alien landed on Earth? Every wouldn't have been. Everybody wouldn't have been like. Okay, all the books that we had so far about different people in the sky and the sun, burn it all. We're starting it over. All. Start over. Fu- start over with Beesbo over here. And he's like, I come in peace. And we're like, absolutely. Uh, all our shit's about you now. Forget the big hot ball. Unless, unless. Unless. All these aliens who have come to Earth over time came to one person at a time. And they were like, hey, what's going on? No one's ever going to fucking believe you. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> like unless also these Bill al- Murraying, they're Bill. The, the yes. aliens been Bill Murraying to this point. It's also possible that the aliens have kept coming to Earth and landed on it and been like, everyone here is so sick. Yeah, everyone here is sick all the time. Oh, you mean I, sick like coughing, not like these guys. Rule. Yeah, everyone here, like history. I don't know much about it except that like there have been pretty big chunks of it where like everyone was sick, and so they come and they were just like it's. It's not, this is not a great vibe. It's like if you show up to a party, you know, sometimes you show up to a party and everyone there is very sick. Yeah. <laughs> you don't want to keep hanging out no, there. No, you leave. You head out. <laughs> Can true. I say my my favorite thing in all of the, like, the claims of the UFO evidence is that uh, the government has, quote, non-human DNA. To yeah. which point, I would direct your guys' attention over my shoulder to my fish tank, full yeah, sure. of non-human DNA. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's all it's kinds of non-humans in there swimming around. Are you kidding me? There's the non-human. That's the non-human. They've got DNA. That's a snail. Yeah. I bet that Thought. snail's got DNA. He's cool. got a, an, an incredible exoskeleton chitin. Right? They've got chitin, chitin-wearing exoskeletal non-human DNA. beings. Hey, in, in a positive space. Yeah. Sure. If That's an aliens, if aliens, if one alien in our generation, yeah, has There's landed among, has landed among us, and lived in like a prominent public life, yeah, okay, who is it? Cool, we're getting into some fun no. sort of. Who is it? I mean, okay. I already referenced Goldblum once, so I don't think Not I can do go, that it can't be Goldblum. Goldblum too cool. I there is a oh by the way. This is this seems like kind of a thought experiment, but there's a right answer. <laughs> there's Zuckerberg? a right answer and a wrong answer. There's a right answer and a wrong answer. Is it Zuckerberg, is Zuckerberg or Elon? Zuckerberg's I think Zuckerberg's interesting. Later. Zuckerberg's playing the long game. If so, he he. Uh, but I don't think so. 
I do like the idea of an alien landing and be like, I'm gonna revo revolutionize your shit. This is internet like 3.0 meta. And us being like, hey, alien, that's fucking dumb. That's dumb. <laughs> no, no, what are you talking about? He landed on Earth and they're like, holy shit, an alien, what do you wanna do? I wanna meet college kids. <laughs> like, okay. <laughs> oh, no. I guess. That's weird, man. I wanna no, make a whole thing about it so I can meet college kids. Do you know any twin brothers that I could scam? <laughs> <laughs> I need to trick my friend who looks like Andrew Garfield. <laughs> this guy's two guys. This guy's two guys. He must be the smartest guy. <laughs> I need two twin super perverts. <laughs> two twin super pervert cannibals for my, for my plans. Okay, it's, D it's David Blaine. Oh, okay. He comes to Earth. Acting a fool, getting wild with Leo, okay? Having fun with his celebrity friends. Eventually, he gets bored with his minor Wait, alien magic. Was David and Blaine in the collection of celebrities with Leonardo DiCaprio that I will not name? I will not name this group. But he, did he belong to this group that would go out and uh, perhaps uh, try to connect with ladies in a sexual manner? I don't listen. The point is, David Blaine got tired of living on Earth among us and he started showing us. I can fly. And everyone's like, I don't think so. He's like, no, 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 watch. Flying. And then he really wants to push it. He's like, I know something these dummies would never believe. Eight minutes underwater. No problem. <laughs> and everyone's like, wow, humans are amazing. He's like, you're missing the point. <laughs> it's not that humans are amazing. I'm, I'm going to freeze alien. myself in a block of ice. Uh, our dad, Clint McRae, did that. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. Uh, he's an alien too. I don't know. What do you want? He's a planeswalker. He walks between realities. What if it's Tom DeLong? And he's just kind of been sort of playing with us a little bit, kind of like having a little fun, like made a little game out of it. Ooh. Have you heard Ooh. him sing? He's otherworldly, his vi his pipe his pipes. Out of this world. I just say? hope they I just hope they talk normal. Aliens? You know? Yeah, because yeah. this is America. No, 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 I didn't say that. Right, Griffin? Say is that, that what right? you're saying, That's Griffin? Saying, hey, oh, shut up boy. and let me talk. Hey, shush. I just hope they talk normal. Like, I don't <laughs> want, like, if they come down and the, the, when they talk, it sounds like a like two octopuses rubbing together, then they're going to get frustrated. I'm going to get frustrated. Sexually. Um, I'm going to get sexually frustrated by these two <laughs> octopuses slapping together. To, because then, well, I'm, I could be like, what are you, I'm going to get frustrated. Did you guys see a, um, arrive, Arrival? Yeah. No, it's a tough no, watch. Kidding. Tough watch. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think it was very funny at all. Yes. Yeah, no jokes in that one. Almost at all. Great point. No, Griffin. I didn't think it was funny. Yeah, I don't it's know. It's amazing why how many movies they put movie. out that don't have jokes in. Bird Box, not funny. Not well, funny I always thought box. it was like, oh, it's gonna be funny. It's maybe a box with a box bird on birds. it. Yeah. Or yeah. like full of birds and something yeah. about like a bird in a box. Or like we had clown box, there's gonna be clown bird box. box. That was it a wasn't of fucking us. funny at all, man. A quiet place, not funny. They barely no. tell any jokes in that movie. No. There's a couple. There's a couple if you look There's for There's a couple them. in a quiet place. It's more of a wry observational <laughs> kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. sure. This is uh, this is uh, an advice show, and I, I, we help you on this show. That's what we're here for. We lose sight of that sometimes. I'll be the first yeah. to admit it. Dave Matthews just walked into my war and will likely be back. I'm new to the city of Charlottesville and was unaware that running into Mr. Matthews was a very real possibility. Mr. Please. Matthews. Now, Mr. hold on. <laughs> hey, let me interrupt. <laughs> Mr. Matthews is a person that exists on Earth and you exist on Earth. So anywhere you go, running into Dave Matthews is a is real a possibility. possibility. You're, it's Please a higher me. possibility in Charlottesville, true. But no matter yeah. where you are on Earth, walking into your own home bathroom... There's a chance Dave Matthews is in there. Sure, man. Please help me prepare quick-witted one-liners or jokes to make Dave Matthews think I'm cool. That's mm. from Crashing Into Dave. Oh, Crash man. Into ah. Dave. Mm -hmm. you Pretty, Pretty by Bill. The premise of this question is so, so hugely flawed. Okay. Yeah. Because nobody, Dave Matthews doesn't want a joke Correct. from you. Dave Matthews doesn't want a joke from you. Pretty much no celebs want jokes from from people. Well, unless they it's want, like Carlos Mencia or Amy Schumer and they're stealing them from If I them. see Carlos Mencia and he walks up to me and tells me a joke, that's going to be fucking nonstop riot. Um, but I'm saying, like, you're not... Dave Matthews doesn't want anything from you. 
He wants nothing from you, but you can surprise and delight him with a polite and brief interaction that he will be it he will enjoy in the moment but will not remember. Please don't try to make friends with Mr. Matthews because it's <laughs> unlikely to work and more likely to make Mr. Matthews uncomfortable and leave so that nobody else in present can have Mr. Matthews experiences. You'll suck up all the oxygen in the room. I would also say the premise is flawed because if you think about Dave Matthews like we all do and what he has been through, what his career has been, how his life has gone, the who chance- he's dumped, Who he's done shit on. he's done shit on. The idea yeah. that you could make the impression on him that you are cool, there's absolutely- He's he is, met the coolest people ever, I bet. His tolerance for cool is so, so high. high at this point. Yeah. What you he, need to do is make him feel cool. Be, yes. That's how you Fuck get that. Dave Matthews interested in you, be interested in Dave Matthews. That's I mean, you're great. probably not, I mean, that formula works for uh, everyone. So that's probably it. But he's probably a little bit on it. I want to hear from you guys, actually. You work yeah. at the store, okay? I'm Dave Matthews, you work at the store. And be serious. Yeah. Okay. Jokes? Okay. Travis, I'm coming to you first. Jokes, out of the room. Travis, I'm coming to you first. I'm looking for a record. Oh yeah, uh, yeah. Of course, Mr. Matthews. Uh, what record are you looking for? How so you, you okay? So Travis has assumed. Travis has gone with a very tasteful. I'm acknowledging. I know who you are, but I'm acting like a fancy guy at a ring store. Yeah, that's, that's cool. very good. That's, that's a, a cool, cool vibe, energy. actually. That's yeah, Travis. Cool. That might be the right answer because I that's think a if cool you energy. don't acknowledge who he is, now he's thinking. Do you know like, what I like too? Do they do you know? know? Do you know what I like about that, Travis? What's that? Is I feel like there's a a version of that that is very very close to it that is Douche Chill City, which is sure thing, Dave Matthews. No, no way, no. that God. that sucks. No, nope. but uh, of course, Mr. Matthews. Uh, let me show you. That's like, oh wow, that's courtesy. Thank you. That is. Uh, I worked respect. retail for many years, guys. I once helped Sergeant Slaughter find a CD. I don't want to brag, but what I've CD? been down this road you before. You gotta tell me what CD Sergeant Slaughter was looking for. I can't remember, but I'm gonna say Chumba Wubba Tum Thumping. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Just based on the time at which this occurred, I'm going to say that that was the case. Maybe a Dave Matthews CD, frankly. Um, um, I When people... Uh, people usually do two different styles when they recognize me. The one that cracks me up is when they play it like extremely cool so that I have no idea. And then at the very end, they're like, then they blow it up and they're like, and now I'm flashing back like, okay, think about everything I've done. It, have I been like basically nice? Yes. Okay, good. We're good. But then I just be nice to people all the time. That's my secret. That's what I do. Yeah. Just to be I'm careful. Just nice to everybody. That's good. You gotta be uh, careful. You can't be too only- careful. And you're only like that in case people recognize you and don't tell you secretly. That yeah, if you'd met me in college, him. if you'd met me in college, you know how terrifyingly close that is to the truth. Even now, <laughs> Justin, if Justin stands alone in a room, he's so mean. <laughs> oh man, so mean. Hey, listen, not wrong. Actually, <laughs> <laughs> it's funny he's been doing a little work there, but yeah, for sure, <laughs> not, <laughs> not wrong. <laughs> Mean Justin is inside the head. Is yeah. Where that, that's where Mean Justin lives. Is there a way to nag on Dave Matthews? <laughs> My friend loves your work. I think you suck shit. <laughs> My dad was on the boat, David. <laughs> I've I've been working towards this moment my entire life, Dave. Ooh, yeah. If you if you hmm, this is going to be a tough thing to swing. But if you could dress up like uh, the ghost of a sailor covered in dookie, and then it, and then when he walks in, give him such a terrible fright. But then when he realizes you're not the ghost of one of the boat participants that I guess died from being uh, dumped with the the bus excrement, I think that would be. A funny prank? Is that what we're talking about? Is how to prank okay, Dave Matthews? Okay, introduce yourself to him as Steve Matthews. Okay. And say, my mom gave me my father's name, Atlanta, 30 years ago, Dave. Okay. Oh! That, that's when, cool. When you guys imagine this question, what kind of business were you imagining the work was? Uh, was it specific? What? Grocery. Yeah, grocery. I pictured a record shop. And okay. that that would be pretty good. <laughs> To be able to be like, I got a hot new sound you might like, and then take him to his own CDs. Oh, no, take him to Matchbox 20. I bet Dave Matthews, 
Kate snatched off and he's like, yeah, that's that's just my stuff, but better. Yeah, I said it. No, wow, they're, they're equally Christ, good. Uh, I love them both love them very both. much. Yeah, Dave yeah, love them and both. Yeah. Uh, Rob Thomas, if you're listening, I know you are. I enjoy uh, your work solo, your work with Matchworks 20, and now your two single work with uh, with Carlos Santana. I so. love his work. I love his work solo. What's solo, you right can't now? hear. <laughs> yeah. Did you oh, not see shit. that coming, Griffin? <laughs> no, no, no. That was great. Yeah, you got it. fucking funny, Juicer. <laughs> <laughs> I do like Smooth, though. Yeah, Smooth is good. And he's got Move smooth out smooth. now. Smooth and Move. X Lax. Um, I don't know what to do. Don't yeah. look at. Hey, be cool. If he lives there, listen, this is, this is the thing you got to think about. If he lives there, right, the chance that you're going to actually he's going to come into the store multiple times throughout the years is very high. This is a long game thing. Just be normal and yeah. relax and help him like he was any other customer. And I guarantee you the thing he will appreciate most is you not like making a big deal out of it. You do have to make yeah. kind of a big deal the first time though. The first time, but that, the but first that's time you got to give him a little way. something. The Mr. Matthews. And when he's leaving, you've acknowledged, you know who he is. So he knows you know who he is, and then when he's like finished ringing out, you can say like, and I just wanted to say, love your work, right? That's why I'm worried about everybody in Huntington, literally everyone to a person, is playing it too cool with me. Yeah. Because that right. never, like, I feel like it's okay, you know what I mean? Like, when yeah. I go to Grayley Auto Body, up. when I go to Grayley Auto Body, you know, I, and they're all, and not, it doesn't stop work. You think, yeah, it, right. I'll duck out into the garage so right. sometimes, yeah. like, he's here. Or, it's honestly ju juice. It's it's the biggest reason I moved to DC. Is there's so many big movers and shakers here that I can kind of like camouflage a little bit. Like oh, you, you know how yeah. like I I I like I don't go out a lot because we have kids. But like when I do, I usually am like with Tony. Yeah. Um, Doctor Tony. Yeah. As I call him, <laughs> Tony um, Hawk. Yeah. Um, I'm, Fouch. 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 The Fouch. Uh, he changed his name. He's gonna have to change all of his video games. The foul, Travis. You're being really silly, and you're trying to joke <laughs> on a joke right now. Please, you right. are. Right. You got one, one joke per joke, recognize. please. Although, can I just really quick say, Fouch <laughs> is coming to Freebie season one and two are gonna be okay. <laughs> a joke on a joke. Fouch. On a joke. <laughs> yeah, hats hats for sale. Jokes for sale. Fifty cents a joke. Ah, oh, the monkey stole all my goddamn jokes. <laughs> Give me my jokes back, monkey. David straight God there it. is Fouch in Fouch. Anyway, when I go places with... Now, nah, just forget it. Just forget no, the whole thing. No, say it. Say your thing. Griffin, I want to hear it. I, hate just, I walk energy. into the club. I walk into the club with Fouch, and people are like, Fouch, and I can go off to the bathroom and wait for the night to be over. <laughs> Griffin, come out! It's fast. I know you're in yeah. there, Griff. Come we on, we gotta man. solve these medical-related crimes together. Only yeah. on only a streaming on Freebie this summer. Well, hey, we're, we're drinking Jager bombs. I think it's Jager, just one of the few. I said Jager bombs. We're drinking Jager bombs. <laughs> remember that night when I called him Jager bombs and you had to t Griffin. Yeah, Fouch. I remember him. Yeah, I remember Fouch. Remember the I night I said Jager and you you had such a time with that? Yeah, I remember, man. You okay? Um, got your mask on? Uh, yeah, it's like a, but it's like a family. <laughs> I got my mask on just for the smell. Yeah, you like that, don't it's you? It's well Tony? seasoned. <laughs> All right. I wish people knew the real fouch. <laughs> how hard it's been on me. Yeah. It's been rough. I, I, I found like... two babes. They're sisters, Griffin. <laughs> okay. Sister Griff. He's Come found on, man. He found yeah. two twins. Yeah, fouch, that's great. Fouch, 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 Tony, fouch. Are they cannibals? Gotta... I'm only into cannibal twins. <laughs> Tony, I feel like if people knew the real you, the yeah, two man. sides of the political spectrum would sort of shift, to, like trade opinions <laughs> on you in a hey, way. That hey, would Griff, really... Griff, you yeah, want to see me man. shred my board on these rails? <laughs> Yeah, I guess so, Tony. Did you bring your helmet? <laughs> I don't need a helmet. I'm not a coward. Watch this. <laughs> ah, my head! Oh, yeah. God, I'm bleeding! Oh, man, Somebody the cure was, was in there. there. The He's cure was everywhere. in that brain meat. All right. Now can we go to the money zone? Or is yeah. that enough? Did we kill yeah. enough time? Okay, great. <laughs>
It, yeah, so much of this show is just us getting to ads. It's all we want to do. We had like no. four minutes there. That wasn't enough it time. It was just for an a bit awkward amount question. of time. It was an awkward amount of time. So instead, this we never just happens sort of, to us. <laughs> yeah, I promise. This is the first time. Money time. Can I tell you guys, legit, I'm so excited for the this week's ads. One, Stitch Fix. Love Stitch Fix. Oh, yeah. I'm, Great. When recording this, I'm getting ready uh, to go to Gen Con, and 90% of the things I have packed came from Stitch Fix. And when I think I want people to see me and think, yeah, that's a Travis, that's because Stitch Fix knows my style and has matched it, and it's... Basically, all I wear at this point, because Stitch Fix is the easy way to get clothes that fit you without having to endlessly scroll through options. Uh, you go, you answer a few questions about where you typically get your clothes, what you like to wear, all that stuff. Uh, and they will style it to you, my friends. While Try. Travis is at Gen Con, I'll be at Ken Jong's house. And no matter whether you're going to Ken Jong or Gen Con, uh, you are going to find the perfect fashion for the right occasion. Because you can tell them what you got coming up in your life. And they're going to help style you for something inappropriate at a backyard barbecue at Kim Jong's house or uh, Gym Con, whatever that is. But uh, either way, you're going to look great. So try Stitch Fix today at stitchfix.com slash brother, and you'll get 25% off when you keep everything in your fix. at stitchfix.com slash brother for 25% off today. Stitchfix.com slash brother. Now, here's what I want to talk about. I love Stitch Fix, but guys, my life is a closed loop. When I moved to Cincinnati in 2009, I worked at Land's End in Sears. This week, we are sponsored by Land's End. <gasps> it's a closed loop, Justin. It's more like a closed loop, Travis. I don't have the copy, so I don't know what uh, we're angling for here, but it's a good <laughs> place <laughs> for sure. For sure, for sure. For now, sure. we are not allowed to use profanity or vulgar language during the spot. Do you understand? I did not approve this. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> so with Land's End, you can get fully customized clothes, accessories, and promotional products featuring your logo and colors, all made by the expert team at Land's End. Since 1993, thousands of businesses have relied on Land's End Business to outfit their employees. Land's End Business is the leading online supplier of iconic uniforms for everyone. Whether you're a carpet cleaner, mechanic, moving company, corner pizza shop, professional arm wrestling, um, you, if you collect ants to resell at farmers markets, they <laughs> unofficials, have, unofficial army, uh, army. They, <laughs> they have your what uniform needs that? covered. Yeah, they'll do it. <laughs> army a, go <laughs> a private military corporation. Go for it. <laughs> they'll do it. PMC. Yeah, it's man. An indie PMC. It, it's so much more than uh, the same old work polos. You get customized uniforms that fit the way you work and keep your employees cool, dry, and comfortable. Dry, I will comfortable. say. And it was it was 13 years ago that I worked there at Land's End, and I still have some Land's End clothes that have held up that long. This is good wow. quality stuff. Yeah, yeah. So see why thousands of companies count on Land's End business. Go to business.landsend.com slash mybrother and use promo code mybrother for 20% off your order. That's business.landsend.com slash mybrother, promo code mybrother for 20% of your order. Land's End. Where the land ends. Give it a give it a twenty percent <laughs> off your order. I can't be right. Give For, it a twenty percent off. You said twenty percent of your order, which is a bad deal. No, yeah, you get. <laughs> oh wait, you get all of your order. Griffin's right. You get all of your order. The cost is twenty percent off your order. Land right. end will end the land or die trying. Yeah, <laughs> it's all ocean now. May the sea swallow all. You there. Have you considered listening to the Beef and Dairy Network, an award-winning comedy show in the form of a newsletter podcast for the beef and dairy industries? Well, maybe you should. And why don't you try our most recent episode, episode 99, which features American man Paul F. Tompkins playing Queen Elizabeth II's former personal beef sommelier. Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II and I laying on the floor of her bedroom, uh, just l helplessly laughing till tears run down our faces as corgis are jumping on us, over us, licking us, that is a day that I will treasure forever until I am executed. Find the show at MaximumFun.org. I hope there's beef in heaven. Hey there, beautiful people. I'm Jarrett Hill. And I'm Trevo Anderson. And we want to know, have you ever had mixed feelings about the things that you love? Ooh, maybe about the things that you hate? 
then Fanta is the show for you. Fanta is the podcast for all those complex and complicado conversations about the gray areas in our lives. You might have conflicting feelings about Kamala Harris or mm-hmm. propaganda or mm-hmm. interracial friending. Mm-hmm. That's all right, because we do too. And we get into it every single Thursday. Catch this Slay Worthy audio at MaximumFun.org. That's MaximumFun.org slash Fanti. That's F-A-N-T-I. Come get all this good good. Or this great great. <laughs> I want to munch squad. I want to munch squad. Sometimes it's hard to match the energy you're bringing. It's tough, yeah. Welcome to Munch Squad's podcast and podcast profile and latest grace of brand eating. And guys, I've been so excited to talk to you about this. And I'm going to try to not take the rest of our podcast with this. I'm going to try. I'm saying that up front. Okay. Do you remember when Taco Bell filed suit against Taco yes. John's yes. to free the Taco Tuesday uh, brand? Yeah, Justin, I yeah. would say it was the most landmark court case in the last mm-hmm. five years. Absolutely. Well, we are going to, we're going to, um, this is wild. The, the, the saga has ended, but it was a long journey to get there. And I'm going to take you through the journey. I'm going to take you back to May 16th when Taco Bell put out their press release. Wait, let me get in the right headspace. I was younger. Okay. I was a little more naive. Uh, I still believed in happiness. I still believed in. Okay. Okay. okay, okay go, on, go on. I told you how much time I'm going to need. It was, it was May 16th. Uh, and that Taco Bell filed this suit the same day, according to this uh, uh, publication, I get a lot of my fast food news from Taco John's had their rebuttal ready to go. Oh, yeah. In celebration of this non anniversary being today, conveniently Taco Tuesday, Taco John's is rolling out a special Taco Tuesday deal for two for two for two tacos. What? Two dollars for two tacos every Taco Tuesday. Okay. And so it wasn't like a counter it, suit or anything, which is right, what I thought it was. This is a promotion be. to capitalize on it. Now, I'll listen, Jim Creel is the CEO of Taco John's. Yeah. And this guy did not come to fuck around, as I'm going to demonstrate here. Let's see what, let's see what uh, uh, Jim Creel said. I'd like to thank our worthy competitors at Taco Bell for reminding everyone. <laughs> that- Reminder, ta- if I remember correctly, Taco John's is like one location, right? No, no, no. Taco John's is a chain. There is one location that owns it in New Jersey, if oh, that was serves. It. Uh, but it, Taco John says, uh, it says, uh, reminding everyone that Taco Tuesday is best celebrated at Taco John's. We love celebrating Taco Tuesday with taco lovers everywhere. And we even want to offer a special invitation to fans of Taco Bell to liberate <gasps> themselves by coming oh. to see how flavorful and bold tacos can be at Taco John's all month long. As Holy for shit. Taco Bell's lawsuit, Creel adds, no moss, por favor. <laughs> <laughs> Do what? When it comes wow. right, he's not, he is not deterred. When it comes right down to it, we're lovers, not fighters at Taco John's. But when a big bad bully threatens to take away the mark our forefathers originated so many decades yes, ago. Yes, yes, yes. Well, that just rings hollow to us. Oh, living- Taco Bell pun. That's a yeah, bell ri- pun, yeah, baby. That's good. that's good shit. If living moss means filling the pockets of Taco Bell's army of lawyers, we're not interested. Jesus Christ. More fine print for the litigious people out there. You know who you are. It's Wait, it says fun. that? Wait, what is yeah. that? Wait, uh, Lossie, more fine just- print, what do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> More fun. Like, there's like it, two for two dollar regular crispy or soft soft tacos available every day of the week, including Taco Tuesday. Taco, blah, 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 all the details about it, but they were like calling out Taco Bell still. May twenty second, Taco Bell is back, Fuck and they yeah. got LeBron James. Oh boy! <laughs> <laughs> to liberate the phrase Taco Tuesday from its trademark status, continues for so so many small businesses, independent restaurants. Mom and pop taco joints, food trucks, okay. and taco lovers alike can freely use the common term for the benefit of all. Today, global icon and long day t- 
longtime Taco Tuesday enthusiast, LeBron James. <laughs> oh, me? If there's one thing I'm known as, it's Taco Tuesday enthusiast, LeBron James. So you like tacos? Not, not, not quite. Um, I like eating tacos on one of the seven specific days I, of the week. And even That's then, sort of I wouldn't thing. say I always do it. It's more that I'm just a big fan of the concept. The concept is cool and should be everyone's. It, is Taco Bell trying to write the narrative that Taco John's was out here suing every mom and pop like, yes. taco shop and taco truck that said the phrase Taco Tuesday? Yes. That it was like, no, yes. not you can't. You can't. You can't use that. Yes. Ta yeah, I don't think Taco John's was doing that. Um, but that so so LeBron James was in a um an ad series of ads where he did like the he was talking about uh Taco Tuesday, but they bleeped it out in the in the TikToks. That now was, I saw I saw one of these ads and there's a very long this was like a five minute format TikTok of him just taking a shit on a picture of Taco John's <laughs> that yeah. I thought was can I just say a little uh, distasteful. A little yeah. distasteful. Fun it day. was all in French. Yeah, which black was, and white, which, which was weird. weird. Yeah. I Eric, did think a lot of the angles were really good. Listen, yeah, sure. to, listen to this paragraph, guys. Airing beginning May 22nd, LeBron James will star in an ad titled Taco Bleep, highlighting the absurdity of Taco Tuesday being yeah. trademarked and encouraging the taco community to join together in support of the liberation movement. I wish I could send that paragraph back in time to our fighting men and women in WW2. Yeah. To yeah. let them know what we are going to do with the freedom. <laughs> they <laughs> probably will do. They probably would have interpreted the phrase the taco community to be something <laughs> hugely problematic. Yes. That's <laughs> if I were to guess, they would be so confused by so many of these concepts, but that one, they would sort of put their own stink on. Um, so they brought in LeBron James. Known Taco Tuesday enthusiast. Non Taco Tuesday enthusiast. One week later, Taco John's brought comes in LeBron out with James. <laughs> <laughs> comes out with Muxy Pokes. Get the <laughs> fuck out. <laughs> <laughs> they got two of the real Harlem Globetrotters and they're ready to stand up. No, let's get something straight. Taco John's is all about sharing the Taco Tuesday love with taco fans everywhere. So while a certain. Los Angeles resident who happens to play basketball for a living. All shots fired. And owns several trademarks of his own, <gasps> including Ooh. his name. Really? <laughs> this is the press Fuck. release, guys. I'm reading the press release. Taco Johnson not come to fuck around. <laughs> That's incredible. Not. This is so sad. This is Guaranteed written, handwritten by Jim Creel on a napkin at 3 a.m. What did they yeah. say? His Who'd they get? F okay, no, 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 no. Tear him apart. Give me, give me a pin. That he's joined Taco Bell in trying to pick a fight while Taco John's is all about bringing people together to share our common love for tacos. To make its point, beginning today through the end of June, Taco John's special Taco Tuesday offer is available to everyone. Anyone. Quote, we always will love celebrating Taco Tuesday with taco lovers everywhere, says Jim Creel. Whether you play basketball for a living or just enjoy watching it on the weekend, this invitation is for you. Come and see how flavorful and bold the tacos can be at Taco John's all June long. Can I just say, Taco John's just, in that press release, made me... Think of Taco Bell as an elitist restaurant. And that is an amazing feat. That's amazing. That's an amazing, amazing. feat. And it fucking worked. <laughs> You're one of those snooty guys that goes to Taco Bell, right? Preppy. I'm Taco more of a Jones. salt of the earth Taco John's kind of guy. The, the guys, wow. Taco John's has grown from a single taco stand in Cheyenne, Wyoming to over 400 restaurants across 23 states. The brand is proud of its Western heritage and adheres and adheres to the code of the West. Fuck yeah! What the fuck? The code of the West, boys and moonmates are back, <laughs> taking pride in its work so much that it recently took out an ad in its hometown newspaper and USA Today, inviting LeBron, <laughs> inviting LeBron James to come celebrate Taco Tuesday at one of its Wyoming restaurants and taco this whole thing out. <gasps> okay, so you said that's fine. Hey, LeBron. Come to Wyoming and say that to our face right here in Wyoming. We'll figure this out together. I know they 
maybe they paid you to do your uh, your deal with Taco Bell, but we want you, LeBron James, to come out. And following the code of the West, we here at Taco John's have challenged Taco Bell to a duel. <laughs> we're, gonna <laughs> find, we're gonna draw it done. Show up, Taco Bell, or be yellow bellied. <laughs> July 18th. Oh, boy. Oh, there was quiet for a little bit, Justin. July 18th, Taco John's to end Taco Tuesday trademark. <gasps> oh, man. No. Taco John's, which has owned the trademark since 1989, announced Tuesday that it will abandon its registration. Too much In blood has been shed. <laughs> We're so tired. <laughs> In conjunction with the move, the Fast Casual is pledging a donation of $100 per location to nonprofit children of restaurant employees which uh, is a group called CORE, which amounts to $40,000 in total. Thank you, by the way, Taco John's, for that quick, quick math. Uh, it has the trademark in 49 out of 50 states. Gregory's Restaurant and Bar still controls it in New Jersey, so we haven't heard from Greg. No, we checked in on Greg last time, if you remember, and I don't think he seems like he's going to be in a rush to, to let that one go. This last um, bastion of freedom will not yeah. fall. <laughs> Yeah, so uh, the brand is challenging Taco Bell to donate funds also. And it's asking to LeBron James to also send money to CORE because he joined forces with Taco Bell. And um, this is, and of course, Jim Creel didn't have anything to say about it. No, wait, here it is. <laughs> Let's see if our friends at Taco <laughs> Bell are willing to liberate themselves from their army of lawyers by giving back to restaurant families instead. We challenge them to match our $100 per restaurant pledge. Fuck, this is actually genius. <laughs> yeah, how many restaurants does Taco Bell have? That's about $720,000. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> We're all doing the same thing. $100 per restaurant. That's, a, that's not you. that much. It's $100. $100. Reasonable. We also invite Del Taco. Taco Bueno. He's just shouting. As yeah, long as you have to say hello to my literally little like, friend. He's going down like, and everybody's going with him. <laughs> Yeah, Taco Cabana, Taco Bueno, Del Taco, Jack in the Box, and Whoa. Mom and Pop. Taco Jack in the Box is standing over the side, like, what do we do? We throw <laughs> We barely tacos. even. We did tacos as a joke. <laughs> they, our tacos are fifty cents taco each, man. No. <laughs> and the Mom and Pop Taco shops across the country that intend to use Taco Tuesday in the future to join us in this movement to support working families and donate to Core. In Taco Fucking Bell's rad. petition, it claimed Taco Tuesday is a generic term and has become too commonplace. Uh, the the giant used LeBron James and Taco Beep. Uh, 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 nationally speaking, the case is over and the money will be going to a greater cause. Elizabeth Bayo, a partner at global law firm Nixon Peabody, who is probably not related to Scott Bayo, but wow, wouldn't that be something? told QSR that the case would have taken two years at the earliest. Uh, so, hey, that's great. That's great. That, listen, they and and the people over at CORE are thrilled. 75% um, of grantees from CORE are single parents. Uh, and Taco John's, I think, I mean, here's the thing. Taco Bell may have won this battle. I think Taco John's wins the war. Oh, for sure. Who's not rooting for Taco John's at this point? So, but this has got to be the biggest press exposure they've ever received, right? And you know, this gotta be the I'm going to come out and say it. I will donate $100 to CORE for every restaurant I own. Taco Bell. Oh, that's okay. great, Trav. What do you that's think? Huge Taco Bell, step up. Come on. Hey, what do you guys think of the odds that within the next calendar year, uh, Taco Bell files for a trademark on Taco Tuesday? <laughs> Right, it's not zero percent oh. chance, right? I am now, I'm now pining for the halcyon days of late stage capitalism. That seems so yeah. far in the rear view at yeah. this point. Now we're like post stage capitalism, where people keep going. Surely not. <laughs> Surely <laughs> not, not. Not this though, right? Aliens. Um, thank you so much for listening. No, to our Justin. Program. Thank you. Aliens are real. Uh, we've got. Uh, let's see some shows coming up August thirty first and September first, and there's a new date. We're gonna, my Bim Bam is gonna be in Philly on October 11th and then New York Comic Con October 12th and 13th. The, those uh, NYCC shows require a badge. 
to attend the show in person, but we'll also have badge free tickets be available to watch a VOD of the show online and you can buy the NYCC badges and tickets now. Yeah, we should clarify it is uh NYCC badges, not just like any badge. They are they're yeah. very particular about that. Yes. I tried to use my safety patrol badge from elementary school and they would not let me in. Which is so fucked up. I so fucked up. Okay. Tickets for the Philly show go on sale Friday, August 11th at noon. Philly. More hey. Hey. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> More yeah, 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 they love what Randy as much as they hated that hitchhiker robot. You guys remember that? Yeah. Thank you to Montaigne for these for our theme song, My Life is Better. You know, everyone you. judged Philadelphia for killing a hitchhiker bot, but now what's yeah. everybody talking about? AI. That's AI. right. Philadelphia That's was right, ahead Philly. of the curve. Ahead of the game. Uh, we want human Mon- beings out here hitchhiking. Thank you, Montaigne. Thank you. Robots are taking our hitchhiking jobs. Thank you so much, Montaigne. Thank you. And, Thank you. Um, Thank you for everything. We Thank you for everything. We wouldn't be Let's here go. without you. And Martin let's go. saved my life. World War Three. it was. Oh. No, we're doing, hold on, Travis, we're doing right? a sonic what bath. Is, oh, are we? Yeah, yeah. here okay. we go. We gotta talk about this fucking bit. Yeah, no, Travis, sorry, you go uh, fucking an ambulance, absolutely an ambulance bonkers. Drove by yeah. while we were it was the busy Justin world Macro. of Richard Scary over there while me it and Justin are trying to create a spa like environment. Do you want me to do a chicken? I can do a pretty good job. I'm Griffin McElroy. I'm Travis McElroy. This has been my brother, my brother, me, kiss your dad, scrub lips, aliens are real. Maximum Fun, a worker-owned network of artist-owned shows, supported directly by you.